Hey guys, I'm back again for another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom tour review, and now we're going to take a look at the Battle Damage Sticky Moloch. And yes, yeah, it's been a while since I did a review of these toys, because yet again, we have to wait and be patiently, but thankfully we had to be so patient to wait. Anyways, before we get to the figure itself, which is good enough, let's talk about the package first. Usual, it's the same package as the previous toys that I've reviewed on the channel, except this is the battle damage package this time, which shows uh, red markings, dino damage everywhere, Stiggy Moloch Stiggy, battle damage logo here, Jurassic World on side to side, and then the back of the package that shows the action figure itself, showing detail, and the other figures you can collect, which I did see except for the Triceratops, which wasn't there. Can't see an autofocus, I'm sorry if you can't. There you go. So now that's out the way, let's get back to the figure itself. Let's start off with the head sculpt as usual, and of course, like every Mattel figure we have seen so far, this is a pretty good sculpt. Everything in detail is completely cool as usual. I love the paint. I pretty much love pretty much everything about this Sticky Moloch, and I was originally going to get the uh, story pack Sticky Moloch with the mercenary, but I might get that later or not. Well, that depends. But literally, this is so far one of the uh, better sculpts. I heard people that saying that this is one of the better sculpts, I guess. But that is debatable to a certain degree. Like the battle damage blue, which I heard people are telling that's better than the one that I have. But whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's opinions anyway. But anyways, I don't have to go overall too much into it. I think everybody else has said what they like. And the articulation and everything. The, the figure itself, it's got this great detail. It looks exactly like the Sticky Molly from the film. There's the bottom, and then there's the scan code, Jurassic World imprint logo. Yeah, I'm calling it the imprint logo instead of just a logo, but it's a Jurassic Park logo. So yeah, really nothing much to go over. It's just, it looks pretty cool. Detail and everything, enough said. And of course, you have the dino damage, which press that like that, and then you roll it up, which is actually pretty great. I really do like the dino damage portion of the dinosaur toy basically the battle damage uh, toys basically had the like one of the uh, ideas that was straight off of Hasbro's Jurassic World toy line but this one's done in a much better way in my opinion like the handle right here may be a little bit smaller at this point instead of being so huge and big like the other ones I guess but this one I do like this one because not only it keeps its, it, it could keep itself from being broken so it's not as loose as the other ones this is definitely a step up over Hasbro's Alright, it's time for size comparison. So here we got Alan Grant right next to the Sticky Moloch. Good scale. There she is scaled up with the Triceratops. And here it is right next to the Velociraptor from the Legacy Pack that I've already reviewed. And here it is scaled up to the Extreme Chopping Tyrannosaurus Rex, my repainted version. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Sticky Moloch from the Battle Damage toy line. And stay tuned for the next review and I'll see you guys later.